where k is positive. So if you delay the signal by k units, that means now the input is x of n minus k. When the input is x of n minus k, what is the output you get? So if you take this equation, instead of n, you have n minus k, right? So what will be the output now? Let me write it as new output. So new output will be x of n minus k minus x of n minus k minus 1. And you can see that I can also write this as y of n minus k. Is that no? y of n minus k, which means if the input signal is delayed by k units, the output signal is also delayed by k units, okay? which also tells us that it doesn't, this system doesn't depend on the time. So this system is said to be a time invariant system. This is said to be time invariant system. On the other hand, let's take one more signal, one more system. Let's take one more system whose input and output characteristic is of this type. This is second example. Y of n is equal to n into x of n. That means you have a system, a discrete system, whose input is x of n and output is y of n. So the output y of n is equal to n into x of n. It depends on y of n, you see, it depends directly on n, which is dangerous. Which means that in case you delay the signal, so now the new signal will be x of n minus k. So if you delay the signal, what will happen? What is the new output you expect now? The new output that you expect will be n into x of n minus k. Because you want to replace this n minus k with n. So if, if the signal is delayed, then x of n will become x of n minus k. So the new output is n into x of n minus k, which clearly states that this is not equal to y of n minus k. Can you check that? What is y of n minus k? y of n minus k is actually n minus k into x of n minus k. That is y of n minus k. This is not y of n minus k. Okay? Which means that if you delay the input signal, then the output signal is not delayed. So that means it depends on the time and hence this kind of system is referred to as time variant system. Is referred to as time variant system. The same principle is applied even for continuous time systems okay, where instead of y of n and x of n you will have y of t and x of t. So it will be like y of t equal to t into x of t. So this is how we check whether it is time variant system or time invariant system. The third classification is linear versus nonlinear systems. Linear versus nonlinear systems. So a linear system is that system which will satisfy superposition principle. Do you remember superposition principle? Let's see what that principle is. So a linear system, if it satisfies superposition principle, a system, if it satisfies superposition principle, is called as a linear system. So which means, if the input to a discrete time system is x of n and say the output is y1 of n. If the input is x1 of n, say the output is y1 of n and the input, if the input to the system is x2 of n, then you know the output will be y2 of n. So superposition principle says that 
now don't apply x1 of n x2 of n separately apply this kind of signal apply a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n so if you apply two signals simultaneously in this way a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n and if the result is if the result is a1 y1 of n plus a2 y2 of n then we say that this system is a linear system so this is a superposition principle right so if 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 this system satisfies the functionality which says that if the input is a by x1 of n plus b x2 of n which will result in a1 y1 of n plus a2 y2 of n then it is said to be a linear system otherwise it is not a linear system we call it as a non-linear system so x1 of n and x2 of n in this example they are arbitrary sequences and a and b are constants okay so usually a, a relaxed system that does not satisfy this principle of superposition is called nonlinear. So if this condition is not satisfied, then it is said to be a nonlinear system. Okay. Or you could also say that if if y of n is not equal to zero for the input x of n, which is equal to zero, then also it is said to be nonlinear. That means if if x of n is zero, if the input is zero if that results in y of n which is not equal to 0 that means there is some non-linearity in this signal so like a plus something for example so which is not making the signal to become equal to 0 then it is said to be a non-linear system so if the input is, if, if the input is 0 and the output is also 0 then you could consider it as a linear system if the input is 0 and Still, if the output is not equal to zero, then the system can be easily declared as nonlinear system. As a nonlinear system. So you need to understand this. This is a very important point. Simple way to check whether it is a linear system or nonlinear system. So for a linear system, the zero input will produce zero output. For a nonlinear system, zero input will not produce a zero output keep that in mind very important one more question some of the examples are say y of n is equal to x of n square okay x of n square you can check that this will be a linear system you can take this as assignment and if you have any queries as you know anytime mail us to support at 10pointer.com so I will keep giving you several assignments during the discussion during this online lectures I expect you to solve them and if you have any queries please feel free to mail us at support at 10pointer.com with your queries so verify that this should be a linear system and y of n equal to x square of n this will be this should be non-linear system please verify so I want you to check that y of n equal to x square of n belongs to is, uh, is the input output characteristic of a system which is actually a non-linear system and linear or non-linear systems are very common in communication theory and so in this course you are expected to know what kind of system we are referring to whether it is a linear system or a non-linear system now the other type of classification the fourth type is causal versus non-causal causality is one characteristic of a system which makes it a physically realizable 
non-causal systems are very difficult to realize them 